Hi, my name is Pankaj and welcome to the fourth video of Protector series. In this video, we are going to talk about a IDE which is most talked about is Visual Studio Code and this is a free IDE that you can get in order to work on the Protector because in Protector you will have to write the automation script in JavaScript language. So uh, finding a suitable IDE is very challenging for JavaScript because uh, most of the time uh, whenever you will talk about Protector people will say that to use WebStorm but WebStorm is a paid tool and especially the people who are going to practice it at home they won't uh, get the license to use the WebStorm and also companies do not prefer uh, to use a paid IDE right so in case if you can get the WebStorm then it's uh, well it's well and good and in case if you can't find the license for the WebStorm then you can use the Visual Studio code and also there is a hack which is available to use Eclipse as a JavaScript editor and I'll also add one video wherein I'll explain that how to use Eclipse as a JavaScript IDE but before that I'll be using I'll be showing I'll be demonstrating Visual Studio Code and also I'll talk about the advantages of using Visual Studio Code so let's start with that first of all it is available and it's available uh, it's free and it's available for all the platforms like windows linux and os x which is the biggest advantage of using ad, uh, using vs code or visual studio code it's lightweight it's free it supports 30 plus languages and it has a rich support for from all the vendors to provide the libraries and support also it has intellisense which is always on it allows the debugging for any language and it has inbuilt code versioning and git support so you just have to install all the git on your local machine and you can configure it directly with the bitbucket github or any svn so this is the advantage of using vs code now what you can do in order to work on the vs code you will have to first install dotnet framework 4.5.2 so you can download it from the internet and usually if you have windows 10 or uh, greater than that on your local on your machine then uh, you do not require to install 4.5.2 in case if you are working if you are working on uh, windows 7 then you will have to download and install the dotnet framework 4.5.2 and this is the link where from where you can download the visual studio code you can directly go here and you can download the vs code as per your uh, machine's configuration it's available for 32 bit and 64 bit both so once you can download it and you can simply install it like any ordinary software so once the installation is done is, is done you will have to install the support for javascript and typescript so uh, i'll show you that once you install it and once you launch the uh, the vs code for the first time this is something it looks like Right, so here you can see this is something it will look like you can uh, directly it shows you that download git because in my machine in my local machine there is no git installed so it directly asks me to download and install the git you can do it and then you can configure your uh, this IDE with the with the code versioning system so that you can directly push and uh, pull the codes from the uh, from the SVN and then you'll have to download the support for JavaScript right because JavaScript is the one where we that we have to use in order to work on the protector so by clicking here you can directly install it and then you'll have to also install the TypeScript and once these two things are installed you will have to install one extension for protector so that you can directly run and execute the commands of protector so what it is showing here the window will, re will reload after installing additional support for TypeScript and similarly for JavaScript git not found and uh, we have to download the git as well I'll do it later so this is something which is happening so let's say it okay this is what you'll have to do when you'll have to install the support for JavaScript and TypeScript now here you can see that this is being restarted so once it will restart it will have the support available for JavaScript and TypeScript here you can see it has restarted and there is these two options are disabled now now to uh, download the support for protector you'll have to click on this extensions in case if you cannot see it here you can directly go into the view and you can choose the option for support and extensions so I'm going to click here and you can directly search here so you don't have to like download it from internet and then run it here so I can directly search here so I'm going to search for protector and here you can see that it has given protector test runner so you'll have to install the protector test runner so once it get installed what you have to do is you simply have to uh, open the folder in which your JavaScript files are available in case if you don't have you can simply create any notepad and with an extension of .js and you can directly open that folder here and then organizing the folder structure is available you can do it uh, as, as it is required so I'll just reload it because protector has been installed now 
and see this is all that's all so what I have to do is I have the sample project available in my machine so I'll simply copy this path and directly open it inside the Visual Studio code so I have to click on the open folder and choose the path where it is available so this is the folder this is the example folder that I have to choose and it is opened here you will see it in a second so here you can see that const.js and example spec.js is available now you can simply cl click on it and you can modify the code and the best part that VS Code gives you is the terminal so it has an inbuilt terminal that you can use in order to work on it so what you can do let's say uh, we already know that how to launch the protector script how to execute the const.js so what you can do you don't have to go anything uh, go anywhere you just type the command here like protector is giving some error ESLint server is running so it's okay let it run and what I have to do is we have to run the conf.js and it will trigger the specification file so for that thing what you used to do is you type the command protector p r o t r a c t o r and then conf.js so as soon as you hit enter it will launch the, the code from the conf.js file and uh, eventually your script execution will be starting this is very user friendly and here you can see that it has direct support available to connect your code with the bitbucket and svn so that you can directly push and pull the codes uh, from the from the code repositories and here you can say this is very simple uh, ui and you can directly start working on it within five minutes and uh, your this is the best id that i can see at the moment for any javascript uh, related ide so here you are seeing that the execution is being execution is happening on the Chrome browser it's executing something the test cases are being performed it's being executed and once it will be done you can simply see that this is the best tool available and its name is Visual Studio Code that you can use as JavaScript IDE for your project that's all in this video thanks for watching